And President-elect Bola Tinubu is in River State for a two-day visit where it's expected to commission some uh, what the uh, River State Governor calls legacy project. I'm joined now by Senator Olubenga Onolapo Obadara, who uh, was selected Senator for the Ogun Central constituency in April 2011 elections. He's a member of the All Progressives Congress. Thank you for joining us on the countdown. Uh, they say Ashuaju's ability to build bridges and strategic relationships in and outside his party was critical to his victory at the poll. His first official visit post-election is to an opposition state and even a public holiday has been declared in his honor. How significant is this and what does this say about the kind of president Nigeria is getting this time? Well, Senator, can you, can you hear me? If you can. I'm, I'm telling you. Can you hear me too? Yes, I can hear you. Please can, go ahead. Yeah, you know, we said it many times that Ashura Jibala Mertinobo is one wonderful person that knows how best to cross bridges. Because Wike is in PDP, and as well you is in APC, doesn't make any difference. I can tell you that we are just seeing the wonderful work as you will do to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You can see the kind of leadership as you is ready to provide for the country. And the same thing that we have been saying, that as you is a nationalist, a pan-Africanist, who will take the interest of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in his heart and be able to deliver to every state of the Federal Republic. We have known this, we have preached this, and we thank God he has been elected and everybody will see the new dynamism, the new orientation, and the new uh, Nigeria that we have been praying for. I assure you is for the 774 words of the Federal Republic of Nigeria mm. is for the 36 states of the Federal Republic and Abuja and, and Abuja. And we know that the team is going to assemble will be so dynamic in the development of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Nigerians are we counting on that, no doubt, um, Senator. At the commission today, we saw current and former governors both from the APC and the PDP, in what appear uh, a, a friendly gathering. You know, in politics, they say there are no permanent friends or enemies. But how does this inter-party relationship actually impact positively on governance? God bless you. God bless you. You know, when we talk, the time for campaign has gone, this is time to sit down for governance. This is time to reel out what he promised Nigerians. As you said, the presence of all past governors in all the parties shows something. This man has crossed the bridges. He has worked with almost all of them, and they believe in him. And for one thing, we believe that every Nigerian of good spirit will come together to rescue Nigeria. This is a renewed hope. The principal, uh... Senator Obadara is an APC chieftain who is joining us virtually. Uh, we're counting on, you know, a, a working conversation in the course of this um, interview. But if you can hear me, uh, Senator, we lost you for a beat. I'd like us yes. to speak to the implication of what appears a complex inter-party relationship here. In River State alone, the president-elect is well affiliated with some key three political stakeholders. The outgoing governor that um, he met with today, the candidate of his party in the last governorship election, and the candidate of the SDP. But they say the challenge with this type of complex political relationship 
is that it doesn't go down well with some. For instance, the APC in Rivers has dissociated itself uh, from his visit, and they are saying that it's another of Governor Wiki's plot uh, who has been painting a false perception of what they call the collapse of the APC structure in that state. Are you concerned about this position and its implication for your party? Let me say this. As a dedicated uh, APC member, and we know this is the time to come together. And this is for the Federal Republic of Nigeria, for the betterment of our nation. It has no personal thing. It, what matters most is Nigeria. I party is just an instrument to get into office. But after the electioneering, we need to come together. We need to work together as one, because what matters most is the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And Ashwa Jibala Metinobo have expressed this in many occasions, in his behavior, in his character, in his dominion. And we know everybody should shoot his words. Now, when APC uh, River State is talking, yes. But see what Magnus Abe did yesterday. By coming together by, as, as a, SDP, now I believe everybody should come together. And the implication of what you see today is what is really going to go around all the Federal Republic across the party lines where everybody will go and work together with Ashwa Jibola Ahmed Tinubu. The man is ready. He's ready to work with every party. And as of now, let me even say this. I mean, the cases are in court. And as the cases are in court, we not before we cannot say we leave governance. No. Everybody should come together, allow peace to reign, allow the, uh, the court to take their courses. And while that one is going on, the governance continues. You know, something so, interesting uh, happened today, Senator Obadara, uh, during the commissioning. Okay. Governor Wiki had insinuated that the Ashuadu presidency uh, uh, would refund the projects the state had embarked on, some federal government projects. But in clear terms, the president-elect said no, and that he doesn't owe him, and that it wasn't a matter of indebtedness. He added that um, perhaps the state has to lobby him and have a proper sit-down if that is to happen. What does this say about the perception that an Ashuadu presidency is payback time for those who worked for him during the election? Let me say this. Ashuadu Bola Metinubu is in River State today as a private citizen. He's not there as a president elect. He's there today, not a president of Federal Republic of Nigeria. Ashwaju is in River State, is in, in his personal capacity. And I believe every state of the Federation, I mean, they have right to request from the federal government whatever they have spent on behalf of the federal government. Due diligence will take place. And I believe by the time Ashwaju assumes office, there are procedures this one will take. Everybody will look at it. The process that comes down will look at it. The two governments will look at it, federal and the state, and they will see where possible, where authority or where authorization has been taken. And the due diligence after that, then that's where the fund will be made, if truly there are approvals. This thing is not just I want to spend my, you have spent my money, pay me. And I believe, I assured you, being there, he gave the right answer. Not a matter of you owe me, I owe you, not be party party. All right. It is for him to present his papers. Mm. It's for the concerned ministry to look at Ministry of Works. It's for the uh, BPE to look at it, procurement agency. And they will see how the approvals he has received. You cannot just go and spend money without the concurrences of the two, of the two federating units. I know after that, I'm sure the money will be paid if truly the federal government is really owing River State. Hold that thought for a minute, Senator. Let us, let, us, let us just quickly hear uh, from the president 
elect himself as to how he responded to the request from the River State Governor. The 12th flyover and the demand you made for refund, I owe you, I owe you nothing. It's your road. You can chuckle me and make a demand. You are the one living on this road. I commend your effort. You have to lobby me to collect. Interesting uh, submission there, Senator Obadara. The key word is, I owe you nothing. Now, whether or not that's a political you know, statement, that's... we perhaps we'll find out in a matter of days, Senator. Yeah, you are right on that. I mean, you said it as a statement. He does not owe him anything for now. Did you say for now? While he's yeah, still president-elect? And that the times will change when he becomes president? Very good. When he becomes the president, <laughs> and the facts are available within, the, with, uh, within his reach as a president sitting. But, and the two again, and the two presidential units, federal and state, are able to establish mm. indebtedness. You can be sure the right thing will be done. I trust, I assure you, well, I made What know. does this mean? You know, what does this mean for those of you who have been within the APC for a while? You have been contesting election, I believe, since 2007, thereabout. I don't know how long you've been with the party. Is this type of inter party relationship poses any form of threat to loyal party members like yourself? Let me say this I, see no, I do not see any threat. Senator Obadara, we probably will have to bring you to the studio subsequently so that we can have a more robust conversation in this regard. But we're counting down to May 29, where Ashiwaju Bolatinobo will be sworn in as the 16th president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Senator, if you are back, I just want to have your final thoughts and your submission on this matter. Yeah. Thank, um, thank you so much. Are you hearing me? I can hear you clearly. Please go ahead. You have one minute. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much. I know, as I said earlier, we walk assiduously knowing who we are following. And I believe that Shua Jibola and Tinobu's governance will be so much unprecedented. He's a man that has really, is really grounded. He is a man that has really worked across the 236 states of the Federal Republic. This is a man that meant well for the implementation of his program. And I believe there's no threat for any good-hearted man on the cross bridges of Ashwaj Bala We need one Nigeria. And I believe we have the spirit of one Nigeria for the greatness of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And I know we are in for better days and a great Nigeria is rising again. Thank you. Nigerians indeed are counting on that. Senator Luke Benga Obadara, APC Chieftain, thank you so much for talking to us on the countdown. I agree. Once thank a senator, two time governor in Lagos, a political godfather who played a prominent role in the change of Barton in 2015 when the opposition won election in Nigeria for the first time since 1999. Now he's president elect, and we'll be bringing you all the updates as we get his activities and the many developments ahead of Inauguration Day on May 29. That's our program tonight. Thanks for being a part of it. I'll be back at 7 p.m. with more stories. Stay with us.